This is Xue Jing from the University of Hong Kong. Today, I'll present a joint work with my supervisor, Bruno, distributing in the section and the union types with splits and the duality, functional pair. In this work, we design a novel algorithm for subtyping with intersection and union types and some non-trivial distributivity rules. The subtyping relation is based on a logic system called B+. And our approach is a combination of two recent ideas, splitable types and the dual typing. Splitable types are types that are decompose into two simpler types, while dual typing is a generalization of subtyping. We have a compact Haskell implementation and a CLQ formalization containing all the proofs. So the story begins from the B plus logic. It is a minimal positive relevant logic system invented in 1972. PL researchers then discovered that such logic system can be used to guide the design of type assignment systems with intersection and union types. And its axioms can be interpreted as subtyping rules. So what are intersection and the union types? Given type A and B, any term of A intersection B contains the information of both A and B, while a term of A union B only needs to have the information of either type A or type B. That is similar to logic conjunction and disjunction. And we know that logic reasons and propositions following the curry howard polymorphism Propositions correspond to types. Implementations correspond to function types. Conjunction and disjunctions then correspond to intersection and union types. But to translate a logic axiom, which itself is a proposition, the top level implementation has to be converted into subtyping. So here, as we can see, uh, A implies disjunction of A and B is translated into A is less than A union B. And in logic, we ask if a statement follows from another statement. While in subtyping, we ask if a type is a subtype of the other one that are quite similar. So here we show some basic subtyping rules for intersection and union types. The S and L rule and the S and R rule say that the intersection of two types is a subtype of each component. And the rule SN does say that any common su subtype of B1 and B2 is subtype of B1 intersection B2. In the reverse, for the union type, if, a, uh, if A1 is a subtype of B, which means B is a supertype of A1, and B is also a supertype of A2, then it is a supertype of A1 union A2, which itself is a supertype of A1 and A2. And now uh, in the section the union types, they are commonly seen in programming languages, like Seduce, a language for XML processing, Cylon, and uh, also the upcoming Scala 3, that is based on the dot calculus or uh, language Julia. The most uh, challenging part in the subtyping relation around the intersection and the union types is the distributivity rules. In the first one we show here, uh, it distributes intersections over functions. And the, the rule is also in the BCD subtyping. In the second rule, intersection and union types distribute over each other. Note that in both rules, if we flip the direction in the other direction, uh, the subtyping judgment is also derivable in the subtyping relation. So uh, the two pairs are actually uh, quite, uh, uh, the two types are actually equivalent. For example, given two functions that both take an integer, we are the fir first subtyping rule. We can treat them as a single function. 
which pass the input to both the successor function and the int to string function. And uh, then it can combine the two results, which has type int in the section string. And if we already have such a function from uh, type int to int in the section string, we can use it as a function of either int to int or int to string. That's the other direction. On the other hand, to get some intuition behind the second rule, we can consider all the possibility we get from the subtype, the intersection of A1 union B and A2 union B. We either get both A1 and A2, or we get type B. So we say that it is a subtype of A1 intersection A2 union B. Actually, there have been many algorithms around this topic, but most of them rely on a normalization phrase, while our algorithm directly works on the source type. Take the integrated subtyping framework developed by Mubok and Ted, for example. To decide if type A is less than type B, it firstly converts A into a disjunctive normal form and then transforms each conjunction part in the DNF to do further checking. And some algorithms formu formulations of the BCD subtyping do not need such a process, but uh, they don't support union types. In both Pierce decision procedure and the six subtyping system, the domain and the core domain of a function type are separated for comparison. Now, let's take a closer look for our subtyping formulation. Remember, it used two ideas, type splits, that we use, to, that we use it to deal with the distributivity rules, and the dual typing, it provides another viewpoint for us to unify the system. I'll show them one by one. So we'll start from the splits. The idea of type splits was proposed to design an algorithm for BCD subtyping, which does not have union types. In this problem, the key challenge is to deal with the additional distributivity rule on the top of a simple subtyping relation around the intersection types. Conventionally, types like int or top that are not intersections are called ordinary types. So any function types are ordinary. But as long as we have the distributivity rule, some function types can behave like intersection types. And note that the two types are equivalent. So the idea of splitable type is to redraw the boundary between them and divide such function types into the same group as intersection types. Every splitable type can be taken into two parts and it behaves like in the section of the two parts. Via this approach, the BCD problem is solved by revising the conventional formulation a little bit, just to generalize the rule of intersection type to splitable type. And in this pearl, we extend the idea of splitable types to union types. Previously, there are ordinary types and uh, splitable types defined according to intersection types. Now we also have union ordinary types and union splitable types. We define them based on these three distributivity rules. And similarly, once we have done this, we generalize the algorithmic subtyping formulation uh, in the section and the union types by using the corresponding splitable types to replace the intersection and the union types. So we have seen splits for now. And what is the duality part? Actually, we have also seen the duality between intersection and the union types in their logic correspondency, in the two sets of splitable types, and uh, in their subtyping rules. 
Dual typing is an idea extends subtyping by using a mode to define whether it's a judgment about subtyping or a judgment about supertyping. The mode can also be used to select between the two type constructors in the section and the union. So uh, the two dual rules can now be unified into one. For example, if we instantiate the mode in the rule D and L by subtyping, we got A in, in the section B is a subtype of A. And if we instantiate it by supertyping, we then got A union B is a supertype of A. If you want to flip the mode, uh, which means you want uh, subtyping instead of supertyping, for example, you can use the dual rule. With the dual typing, we now get a very compact implementation in Haskell. In Haskell, the, we define a check function that takes a mode and two types with a Boolean flag. The Boolean flag is to mark if uh, it has already been flipped. So, uh, it, uh, so it initially is false. And uh, uh, if we want to check a sub top or a super a super type bottom, this are uh, trivially true, as the first uh, first red arrow show. But if uh, you want to determine if bottom is less than int, it will not be catched by this case, and will go to the last red arrow where the mode is flipped and we turn to check if int is bigger than bottom. Int is bigger than bottom can then be taken by the first red arrow. And in the middle, we have two cases that deal with splitable types. Firstly, we try to split the right-hand side type under the current mode. If the mode is subtyping, we split it in the intersection way. If the mode is supertyping, we split in the in the union way. Only if we cannot split it, we will go to the next case and try to split the left-hand side type. So there is no backtracking across these cases. And uh, the algorithmic subtyping formulation we have is actually derived from the dual typing formulation which is an algorithmic version of the declarative dual typing. So we have two declarative systems and two algorithmic systems. In our paper, we prove that uh, the four systems are all equivalent. Also, we have a Haskell implementation in uh, both subtyping style and the dual typing style. We have a Koch formalization that contains uh, all the systems and the proof for our algorithm to be sound complete to its uh, to the declarative system and the, the decidability of it. For our Haskell code, there are some inversion lemmas in our Koch formalization that justify the order of rules. Note that the order of rules in the Haskell code really matters. For more details, please refer to our paper and the artifacts. Thank you.